ang hang. Hey Forever! And we're back to our channel, Dog for Forever! So, for today, we're gonna do something different because we're not going to review the uh, store. Rather, we brought them here. We're gonna have a battle! Gonna be the days when people line up just to buy a few bags of salted egg potato chips. The craze must have been over for me and some people. Potato chips and salted eggs with a little bit of chili and curlies will always be a good idea. So in this video, I bought all possible variants in Mall of Asia, both outlets and supermarkets. And I'm going to rate them with the following criteria. Number one is packaging. Number two is price. And number three is taste or flavor. And number four is crisp. And lastly, number five would be craving. And in each category, we will give as much as five bucks or five points. And at the end of each criteria, we'll take note of the best and we'll sum it up at the end of the video. Let's get started! Are you ready? Because I'm ready and let's do this! And let me show you our contenders for today's video. Let's do this alphabetical. First is Chai Salted Egg Potato Chips. This one is 100 grams worth 249 pesos. And this is a product of Singapore. And expiration date is May 22, 2019. Ta-da! Next is Urban Salted Egg Potato Chips. This is now worth 320 pesos for 105 grams. Another product of Singapore and the expiration date is September 18, 2019. And next we have Golden Duck Gourmet Salted Egg Yolk Potato Chips and it is worth 100 pesos for 35 grams. This one is another product of Singapore and the expiration date is July 31, 2019. This one is a familiar product, a richly gourmet pick salted egg potato chips and this is worth 34.15 pesos only for 60 grams. This is a Filipino product and the expiration date is April 13, 2019. And we have the Stips Chips Salted Egg Potato Chips. This is worth 110 pesos for 60 grams. This is another product of Philippines and it has an expiration date of August 2, 2019. For chai, it's really cute that there is panda in the packaging, but the thickness of the packaging material is not that good. Also, the resealable lock is not fit. It may be too dark, but if you can notice, the dates are just added, which makes me think it can be tempted. So for this one, I'll, get, I'll give it 3 bucks. For Urban's, probably the most appetizing color in layout for me. The wrap is too thick, and there is enough air inside for freshness, and of course, the seal works. Can I say, this is the freshest among the five. With respect to the expiration date with this, I'm going to give this five up. For Golden Duck, there is a counterpart of Urban's, but the only available version is this. So it feels like an ordinary chips available over the supermarkets, and I felt I have to finish this in one sitting. The design there is stick, but yeah, the resealable seal makes the difference. So for this one, I'm gonna give it three bucks. And for Oishi, I love the color and there's a hint of the salted egg based on the photo. The wrapper is quite thick and air is sufficient in the packaging. However, still the resealable is not present, but yeah, the box still. Lastly here, we have the steps. The wrap is thick and feels like Irvits. However, I think there's few air inside it, but I think the design quite lacking hint of what's inside. So I guess I'm gonna give it four bucks for the first one packaging. For me, I think the best one is Irvins because it's really something of good quality when it comes to packaging. However, you transport this one, I think it will stand. So it's ever inside would most likely still be intact wherever you go. So I think this one for me is the best. That's why I gave it five bucks. Now, let's do quick math. Instead of me comparing the price, each brand would have different grams inside it. So, I gave it into a ratio. So, the price over the total grams, so we'll have it in a normalized fashion. For Chai, we computed 2.49 pesos per gram. For Urbans, it's 3.05 pesos per gram. For Golden Duck, we have 3.50 pesos per gram. For Ubishi, it's 0.58 pesos per gram. And for Stips, it's 1.83 pesos per gram. Everything is rounded up into two decimal places, so here's my ranking. For Chai, I give it 3 bucks. For Urbans, I give it 2. And same as for Golden Duck with 2 bucks. For Ubishi, I give it 5 bucks. And for Stips, I give it 4 bucks. So in this case, the cheapest among all would be Oishi. If you really want to make sure you get what you paid for, you have to choose the cheapest one which would be Oishi. 
for the third, fourth, and fifth grade year, I think best to give those rankings while I eat them. I'll give the third, fourth, and fifth books as I eat them all. So let's start with time. Yay! And then, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Can you see? Anyway, I'm just gonna transfer it into this bowl. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my gosh, this is really good. I love this challenge. Oh my god, I love this one. Oh! I'll just explain what uh, what I mean with craving. It's something that you look for after you eat that. So, it's something that would make you come back again to buying this one. Can you see? So let's taste it. There, I wanna smell it. And there's a hint of chilies uh, on this one. I want more. One more. This. Probably you can't hear, bro. But it's so crispy. One more. I want one more bomb. I hate this vlog. If you can notice in the packaging, it says here, um, it's mild. I think comparing to the other salted egg uh, potato chips that I've tried, this one is a little bit sweet. So I guess uh, when it comes to taste, I'll probably give it sugar three, a white three. Probably because uh, surprisingly, it's not that flavorful. In one bite, there's adequate flavoring, but I really can't taste that much. But with respect to crisp, it's the right kind of crisp that you, you want for your potato chips. I guess it's just like it's a normal potato chips. Well, that's just for me. But with respect to craving, I'm not really sure if I want to eat it again, so I'd probably give it to the three since it's quite good, however, not that good. What I'm very bad. We'll have perfect. And then, this is so delicious. Oh my gosh, I super love the aroma. And then the pour. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I love that. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Anyway, this is. See? It works. Anyway, so here, can you see it? It's so full with the flavoring. And it's quite dirty transparent. This is what I really like. Can you see it? Mm. It's too flavorful. In one bite, you're gonna eat everything, like every flavor. This is so good. This is, ah, I love this. For taste, probably give it five. Probably one of the reasons why I like salted egg. This is the reason why. Chris, can I just say, even though it becomes so transparent, it still maintains that crisp. Let's give it still five. Ever craving, yeah. Oh my god, so good. And very hard. Third. It doesn't have any aroma anymore. I actually bought one in SNR, like comparable to Urban's. It's good, however. Okay. So. For me, there's also a lot of flavor on it. I can see chili, yeah, like a lot, but I think the potatoes are quite thicker. Show you this. Kind of thick. I heard this one lacks flavoring. Probably this one could be good. So I'll try. One more. I'll eat one. Silly. Yeah, bare leaves. I'll taste this one. 
substance, it lacks a flavoring. It's not that crispy. When it comes to taste, some parts it's kind of sweet, and for some parts, it's spicy. So I'm not really sure what it actually tastes. But it's not too good, it's not that bad. Probably give it um, three bucks for crisp. It's not that crispy anymore. Probably cared. Bag of chips. I'm quite disappointed. Probably not wanting to eat anymore a golden dog because I can't remember the way it tasted three months before. Probably I give it another three bucks. Three, three, three. And then now we're down to the second to the last journey pick from the others that I have opened. This has the most pungent smell. Is it? It smells so good compared to the others. With respect to aroma, I don't think it's the best coming from those. Anyway, can you see? So personally, it's different, but it's not that bad. I kind of like it. Probably with the taste. Surprisingly, it's, it's good. Although it's not just pure salted egg flavor that you want, even though curry, I'm not really sure if I'm eating one. Probably give it four bucks. And then for the crisp, it's your normal potato chips. It has methane. It's crisp, even though so we'll probably give it another four for the craving. Probably give it a two since it's not that kind of salted egg you crave. I'm not really sure what to. Choose whether the original one or the spicy one. So you're gonna probably choose this since the other three. I could already see the desiccant here. Probably why first three would have maintained their crisp. So the score here. Oh my gosh, you can see the desiccant already. This one. I'm just gonna show you one. Yes. Okay. Let's for this one. Where there's no spice in it, it gets to the end. It's sweet. It is sweet. Mm, there. But it's still sweet. For the flavor, I'll probably give it a 4 for all of those spices that I had here. It's full, well, it's rich, you get to taste salted egg, although it's quite of sweet. Um, there's a hint of the spice at the end of a few bites, I give it a 4. For the crisp, even though it, it's still crispy, it's too thick for me, so I'll probably give it a 3. But for craving, I'm not really sure if I want this. Probably give it a four. Oh my god. There's no question. So for categories, the taste, the crisp, and as well for the craving. All of those here. I want it to be herbits. So, so I'm just gonna have a quick round down. So for chai, total would have 16 books. So for herbits it, it has 22 books. For golden it has 40 books. For Uvishi, it has 18 books. And for steps, it has 19. So probably the reckoning with respect to that criteria would be number one for Irvins, is number two steps, number three would be Owishi, number four would be Chai, and number five would be Golden Duck. Probably the Korean series, specifically for Filipino made um, solar egg potato chips. I believe um, it is a different thing. But yeah, for me, Irvin still is the best solid egg potato chips in town, so I want to try. Again, this is based on my perspective, so if you want to do this, kindly tag me, comment in the section below. So if you have any comments, if you have the same perspective, if you would like to, for me to try a different brand of solid eggs, or do another kind of battle with respect to um, those goods, so yeah. So. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So this is JP. See ya. Bye forever. Bye. Bye.